Hi, my name is Anastasia Young and I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist. And today we're gonna to talk about what is the pelvic floor? So I have my trusty model here with me today to describe all the different pelvic floor muscles and attachments. So this is our pelvic floor. And if we look here, we're gonna to start to see that there are a bunch of different layers. This top layer here kind of looks like a big triangle and attaches from our pubic bone all the way down to our coccyx or our tailbone, okay? And if you look at that relationship, that goes up through your sacrum and into your lumbar spine. So if we remove this first layer, I'm gonna take that right off, you can tell that there's all these other layers of muscles underneath. This is our level three muscles. We have our obturator internus, we have our levator ani, and we have some other ones that are pretty important in stabilizing the pelvis. But when we do work on these muscles, you can notice, because if we look from the inside too, it has a pretty close relationship with our hip, right? Because our hip is gonna come in and it's gonna be in these areas on the side here. So when you look here, you notice that these muscles come in and some of them come around here. And this is exactly where your hip attaches. So we really wanna look at all these muscles to understand what's going on at the hip, what's going on at your lumbar spine, what's going on at your sacrum. When you have pain here, there may be some relationships. So it's good to look at all the pieces together. Another interesting thing to notice here is we have these huge ligaments here. So these I can remove, so I'll take one off just so you can see. We have a couple of layers of ligaments here. And these ligaments, again, coming down from the leg up into the hip socket are gonna come up and attach into your sacrum. If we look at our fascial planes, we notice that these can cross this area here around our sacrum. And this is when we could start getting dysfunction in our back on the opposite side or something based on where the original dysfunction may be coming from, which could be a lot lower than what we think. So we wanna look at the whole body when assessing the pelvic floor.